I'm actually glad that you said this because during my early walk and early studies, I knew that our bodies were formed from the dust of the ground. And this is a natural interpretation of the scriptures, of course, and you have to have water. You know, you have to have commerce in order to even get dust to stick together before, you know, the breath of life can be uh, brought into it. This is even what the scripture is talking about when a uh, serpent is on his belly and he has to eat dust for the rest of his days. Now we are dust until we get that water, till we express the contract and receive the life and the and the creator and all that uh, for our, our two different bodies. And if you look at uh, Corinthians, that's actually what it's referring to in the scripture as well when it's talking about our two bodies here. Now in the Old Testament, we're known as tabernacles mobile places of worship but here in corinthians it says that there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body and it also says that the first man is of the earth earthy the second man is the lord from heaven way back in my early walk you know having this knowledge that my body is of the earth and of the land and stuff i did something called a uh, deed of transfer that's what this is right here i did this back in 2018 and tried to take the u.s citizen out of control of the state and after getting some foundational understanding of knowledge, that's when I basically came to realize that this is not the title to my body right here. This uh, commercial entity right here is not me. It is not title to my body. You know, this commercial body is just something used to interface with the dead and the public, you know. And because this isn't the title to my body, it really doesn't matter what you do to it. Plus, I didn't create it. So... You know, having those foundational understandings of truth really helped me a lot in my walk to understand how to operate properly. So having foundations to build and grow upon helps me out a lot when I'm trying to decipher all of the jargon that's going on. And so when I look at Minnesota Rule 220, it helps me to understand that this is all about land titles and how a registrant who is of the age of 18 is able to be identified for a land title.